All right, word seven, seven, one. World seven's weird. Seven only has two levels, but the last level's really long, so it, it might as well be three levels. This is the last level, so they're 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 gonna they're gonna throw everything at you. So what you gotta do here is you gotta ride the bird over these pillars all the way over here. And uh, there's gonna be a rocket ship here. One of the two rocket ships. And this is gonna take you to the rest of the level. This level's not too bad. The last level's definitely a lot harder. Guys, I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna beat Mario 2. We're almost at the end of the game. It feels like only yesterday we just started playing. But in fact, it was only an hour and a half ago. Ugh. So you have to, you have to use the mushroom blocks to jump up here. Because I decided to play as Peach, who does not have the best jump in the game. And then you have to avoid the ladybugs of death. And then you get to the door. And then you have to fight Birdo. I really like fighting Birdo. I don't know why Birdo's gray. Is she sick? I'm sick. Me and Birdo have a lot of common. I too shoot fireballs when I'm angry. Of course, I'm gonna be Mario. This is the final showdown. So we're gonna be as the, as the titular Mario. Because this is Super Mario Brothers 2, after all. Here we go, the big golden tower. This level's got conveyor belts. This game's got fucking everything. Alright. We're starting off... We're starting off... Just great. So, I think... Uh, I think if we can jump down here... Okay, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. We'll, we'll go this way. Alright, game. We'll go this way. Hey, guys. Ugh. You wanna... <laughs> ever, uh... You guys ever wondered what compressed air sounds like? On a microphone? Anyway. Back at it again at Mario 2. We're almost at the end of this game, guys. <sighs> we're... We're almost... <laughs> We're almost there, guys. We can do this. Um, one thing I want to do real quick, though, just uh, just uh, gonna make a little. I've only been recording for an hour and a half, and I'm running out of steam. So uh, don't expect solo mode to be a regular series. God damn it! God damn it! You, you would think that because I'm a small Mario, the, the fucking the, the fucking Sparky enemy would run right over me, but no. It, do it doesn't, and I have to load a state again. I love Mario 2. Ah, oh, where am I? Where the fuck am I? Oh, let's go down the ladder. Oh, what's this? <sighs> Fucking pillars? Ah, wow. This game's got tricks and traps all over the place. We're gonna put a door next to a door. What's this? Mushroom? I'll take that. Oh God in heaven, save me from these fireballs! If I had to rank my favorite 2D Mario games, Mario 2, it ain't it ain't number one. Um, I I'd have to say Mario Brothers 3 is is still my favorite. You see, that wouldn't have fucking happened in Mario 3. If this is Mario 3, that wouldn't have fucking happened. People, you're either a Mario 3. Or a Mario World person. You, it, that's that's the Mario binary. You're either Mario 3 or you're Mario World. You're pro, you're pro World or you're pro 3. Or maybe, you know, you like both. You know, that's an option too. But you can't dislike... You can't dislike both. That's not an option. Because they're both great games. So Mario 3 is my favorite, followed by Mario World, 
followed by... Hmm, maybe not this game. You know, Mario Land 2 on the Game Boy doesn't get enough love. Um, but that's a great game. Um, so I'm gonna say Mario Land 2 is my, my third favorite. And then, maybe this game. And then maybe, I don't know, one of the new Super Mario Bros. games. I don't know which one, they're all the fucking same. But yeah, Mario 3 is my favorite. Someday we'll play on the show. Either as a mystery box episode or just a solo mode because it's one of my favorite games of all time. What, what, okay, what are the best NES games? Mario 3, obviously, is on the list. Um, but I have to say Zelda 1 might be my favorite, like just definitively my favorite NES game. I... Zelda 1's great, I'm definitely gonna have to play that on the show if I ever do another solo mode um, series. I think I might do Zelda 1 or maybe in some in some form or fashion I want to do Zelda 1. Castlevania 3 is a great game. That's the one with Trevor Belmont and Alucard. Um, that game's great. But you know what game's even better? Super Mario Bros. 2. Fun fact about Castlevania 3, the Japanese version of that game um, is actually way easier. Well, not way easier, but it's noticeably less difficult. Um, usually the Japanese version of games are harder, and they, they tone them down when they bring them over to the West, but that's the opposite for Castlevania 3. The Famicom version is actually a lot easier. They they made the decision to make it harder when they brought it to America because back then Nintendo, their mindset was that if you rented a game and beat it um, in that like rental period, that uh, that people would wouldn't buy it because they already beat it, which is not entirely true. Anyway, as a way to combat that, they. They made the genius decision to just make that game way harder than it's supposed to be by just adding more projectiles or more enemies in just unfair locations. Um, so Castlevania 3 in Japan is actually an easier game, and that's the version I recommend people play. Also it's got better music. Anyway, check this shit out. This shit's a fucking nightmare. The fucking bird fucking comes after you. Um, I kind of knew about this. Some For some reason, I knew about this the first time this happened to me. Um, so it didn't really catch me by surprise, but I know a lot of people that are fucking scared of the bird. Mario's got some scary enemies. Um, you know, people always bring up the eel or uh, the piano in Mario 64. Fuck that fucking piano. That thing scared the shit out of me as a kid. Why, you know, you know the piano I'm talking about. All my Mario 64 nuts out there. Y'all know about the fucking piano. Fuck that fucking piano. That piano can die forever. Not just once, forever. Mmm, Birdo, you gotta stop. You gotta stop shooting these eggs. You gotta let me hit you at least once, buddy. Alright, well, he's, okay, he didn't shoot an egg that time, so I guess he did in, in, a, in, in some form or fashion. He did take my advice. <sighs> That's Mario 2, baby! Despite all my rage, I'm still a rat in a cage, but I'm also still enjoying this game. Despite everything that has happened so far. And you know, that's what makes a good- that's what- that's what makes a good game, even when it's difficult. And this game is definitely difficult. The fact that I'm still playing it and still having fun is proof that it's a good game. And okay, now we are in the... I... Thank, thank you, game. The game decided to uh, show me some mercy. And I'm going to show myself some mercy by making a, a save state right here. Get my mushroom blocks ready. And I'm and I missed. I missed. I shot and I missed. 
Colonel. Colonel. There's a giant fucking floating bird. It killed me. I'm dead now. That's Big Bird Head, Snake. You have to kill him with your gun. It's the only way. Colonel, I don't have a gun on me. The only thing near me are these mushroom blocks. You're gonna have to use what you get. You're gonna have to throw mushroom blocks at him, Snake. I'm Colonel Campbell. This is my voice. We've already established that, Colonel, but, but, but thank you, I guess. Colonel! I seem to be in some sort of dream realm. What the hell is going on here? The snake, that subcon, the world of dreams. The only way to escape from the dream realm is to defeat the evil King Wart and save the people of Subcon. <laughs> Otacon, are you hearing this? I'm hearing you loud and clear, Snake. And yeah, that does sound like a lot of bullshit, but you have to trust the Colonel. The only way to get out of Subcon is to defeat the evil, the evil Frogman Wart. The evil Frogman Wart who shoots bubbles. You have to throw a vegetable in his mouth, Snake's the only way to kill him! Uh, oh, vegetables. <laughs> Remember, kids. Eat your own vegetables. Every day. If you wanna if you wanna grow up strong like me, solid snake. So, this is Wart. Um, he never shows up in another Mario game ever again, which is a real Real bummer, because I like his design. He's just a he's just an angry frog man. I love him. He shoots bubbles. Not the most difficult final boss, but you know what? After all the trouble I've been through, that's just fine and dandy. I don't want any trouble here, mister. Now now son. Ar Ar Arthur Morgan. I don't want any trouble here, okay? You got, you gotta have faith. Just one more, just one more level, Arthur. Arthur. You gotta have faith. Just one more level, and we'll we'll be out of this. We'll be out of this hell. I don't want to play this game anymore. Had a partner. All those other, all those other save states. Practice. This is the real deal. This is the one that counts some weird vegetables in this room that don't show uh, uh, that don't show up ever again in the game take for instance this little garlic looking guy what's his what's his business what do you think his story is and why doesn't he show up in any other part of the game all this and more on tonight's episode of dateline i'm going to kill myself in real life wh when i'm done with this game I'm going to take a bullet to my- <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's just a bird. All he does is fly around. What were they thinking? All he does is fucking fly around. Fucking bird doesn't even have a body. And he's supposed to be the door? What are these game designers on? Fucking crack cocaine? This is it. This is the final battle. Mario, Ward, you got bubbles, you got vegetables. Everything's on the line. Lay it all on the line. This is it, the final level. There's no more after this. The episode will end and I won't have to play Mario 2 ever again. That's right, motherfucker. It's the final level of Super Mario Brothers 2. After this, there won't be anything left. Super Mario Brothers 2 on the NES. Are you a bad enough dude to rescue the president from ninjas? <laughs> it's skate or die. You either skate or you die. Vegetables, pumpkins, onions, garlic. This game has got it all. Catch the vegetables and throw them back in his mouth. Now that's what I call... Scrumptious. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers 2 also known as Doki Doki Panic in Japan. A game for any ass. This is something else. Oh! I love the sound he makes when he gets hit. Oh! Oh! Come on. Come on now, Warp. 
Come on now, bird. Come on. Just a few more hits and you're gonna be dead, partner. Now, mister, I don't want any trouble here. Ah! Oh, come on. He's gotta have, like, one more hit, I think. He's gotta, like, one more and then he's dead. Come on. See, the problem with this is that it's fucking bullshit and I hate it. Come on! Okay, you think this guy, if his weakness is vegetables, then why does he have a machine that shoots vegetables in his room? I mean, come on. That's like fucking just giving the main character a gun. Just handing him a gun and telling him, don't shoot me. There we go. Oh, there we go. He's fucking dead. He's gray now. He's shooting smoke out of his mouth. I don't really know why he's doing that. But we did it. We did it, guys. We beat Mario 2. It's not very often that we beat games on this channel. But we did it. You were with me for the entire journey. Super Mario Bros. 2 is now finished. And look at that. Speaking of Mario Bros. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. That's, that's pretty rare that um, I've, I've used all the characters in equal amount. That's pretty cool. And as you see, they just, um, I, I don't know, they put wart in the grinder or something. I don't really know what, what happened there. But yeah, Mario 2, what a, that was, uh, that was something. That was something. And, uh, you know what? Look at that. It was all a dream after all. Or was it? Were they perhaps stuck in a dream world and they couldn't escape? I think uh, my, my whole theory on this is that uh, yes it was a dream, both yes and no. Um, I think that uh, if Mario didn't defeat Wart, he would never wake up. I think he was literally trapped in a dream world, his subconscious. Um, but that's just a theory. And yeah, this game actually doesn't have credits, instead it, it shows you um, all the characters and the enemies that you encounter in the game. I I really love that about old games when it shows you all the enemies' names. See, look, there's Bezo, Jeff Bezos. Porcupo, Tweeter, it is his name is Tweeter. And you got Bob Omb and Hoopstar. And who could forget Trouter? And Pidget. And Panzer. And that guy. And him too. And this fucker. And Spark. And Pokey. Oh yeah, and Birdo and Ostro get got their name mixed up in the credits. I don't I don't know how that happened. But yeah. Mauser, Fry we didn't even fight Fry Guy. Or Claw Glip. Not Claw Grip. Claw Glip. We skipped a few bosses. Um, that's fine. And there he is. That motherfucker. He's got a lot of fucking nerve coming back here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed Mario 2. I I kinda did. Um, let me know if you want to see more episodes of, uh, of this new series, Solo Mode. Um, I think next episode, though, it's gonna be another Mystery Box episode. Hopefully, if our, uh, if our, if everything went right with our schedules. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little series. Um, I had fun. And, uh, might do more of these. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that shit. And, uh, take care, guys. This is a lot of fun.